All right, welcome back. So it's been over a year now since I got into this Locksport adventure, and I feel that it's my turn to give a little bit back for all the fantastic advice and tips and things that I learned from the Locksport community. So here's my first ever giveaway, and I just like to mention that it's really not a subscriber milestone of any kind, as my channel really isn't about uh, cult following as much as just participating in the uh, in the game of uh, and hobby of legal Locksport. So when I first found out about Locksport, I did what a lot of people did, and I picked up a cheap set of Chinese picks, and, uh, and then I went hunting for a bunch of Master Locks to, to try and use them on. And after one evening of fun, I realized that my Chinese picks would need a lot more time in the grinder and sanding than, uh, to make them usable than I was spending picking, with the lo uh, picking the locks, so I started to hunt for a better quality set. So what I'm about to give away now is what I would have liked to have had from day one, to work on my skills as a picker. Uh, I came up with uh, with an idea that I would do a mentorship giveaway and I'll get to the rules and the included items at the end so uh, be sure to watch the whole video uh, to know what to expect. So the intended winner of uh, part one would be a inexperienced picker that uh, you know are mentoring already hopefully uh, and part two would be for the skilled picker. So uh, with that out of the way uh, I'd like to mention first of all that uh, all the items that I'm giving away in this video are uh, not uh, sponsored or paid for by anyone. Um, these, uh, these are things that I picked up myself and uh, I'm basically, like I said, just uh, saying a thank you and a nod to, uh, to the Locksport community. So, uh, when I was looking for a, a beginner set of picks to uh, avoid the, the Chinese ones and I found this on uh, lockpickworld.com for a reasonable price. Uh, this would be a uh, Southord uh, PX14 um, brand new lockpick kit or set with uh, the standard bottom of the keyway tensioners and uh, a bunch of uh, individual picks. Uh, the key extractor, snowman, not really useful, city rake. Uh, uh, I guess that's going to be uh, like a Bogota style and then a deep hook, another kind of Bogota uh, worm hook half diamond and I'm not sure what this rounded one is in any case uh, it's a nice little kit uh, these are the handles that uh, that you can put on to the, uh, the South Lord picks and this free book that I have honest uh, honestly never read myself but it came with the kit so I said you know why not I'll toss that in right so that's for the uh, that would be for the for the picks now uh, obviously uh, picker needs some locks and so I got a collection of stuff that I'm going to, some of these I'm going to pick on camera one last time to give a kick in the can, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, uh, so anyway, bear with me. Uh, this would be your standard uh, acrylic uh, lock that you can, you know, basically it's it's not necessarily to to learn how to, uh, to set pins as much as it is to uh, just understand how, how pins uh, or how uh, pin tumbler locks work. Uh, this is a pretty uh, interesting tool and I have no use for it, so I'm going to uh, give that to the next person. Uh, obviously, there's the a whole series of master locks that I've picked up uh, that I don't really use anymore except when I need a confidence boost, which happens on occasion, but uh, not that often these days. Um, so what do we have here? We have a master number five, which I don't have a key for. Commercial, apparently. Uh, this is the very first lock that I ever bought for Locksport. Uh, this this has never actually been used for anything other than just picking. Uh, the venerable master number three. Uh, pretty much any picker who's uh, ever picked up this uh, uh, lock sport hobby has gone through at least one of these. And uh, this here is a master 82. Uh, this, on the other hand, is a uh, very, very used lock. Uh, I'm not sure where I got this. I think it was a gift from somebody. But... Um, the, uh, the key on it uh, shows that it has uh, it has seen some action somewhere and also the weathering on it so um, it's a it's a bit of fun also to pick so let's uh, I'm gonna start with uh, this is also like a little cheap dollarama lock I'm not even gonna bother picking this uh, these are also nice little confidence boosters and give you something different to work on so let's go through these uh, these masters here this one usually is uh, Hit or miss, but uh, I'm going to try and uh, not let the fact that I'm filming deter me from trying. Because when I'm picking off camera, I'm a legend, and when it comes to 
doing it on camera, things change for whatever reason. Set this. All right, so one down. Master number three, which is the lock lock sporter's best friend, really. This one's a little bit trickier. Not really sure why, but uh, maybe it's the worn pins. I find that if I over tension it, uh, things get really hard for no reason, but today it's cooperating, so that's good. All right, so that'll be for the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the master, uh, the, the, the beginner locks. Now, uh, once uh, things get a little bit more advanced, uh, I'm going to toss in also this uh, Abus uh, 72, 7240, oops, Lotto Lock, which uh, has the uh, that Abus keyway, which I'm not sure if you can see on the, probably not, but anyway, it uh, says Abus. I have a bunch of these, literally a ton of these, thanks to Pocket Woman, she got me obsessed with these. So let's see, I'm going to try and open this. Uh, this one type might take a little while. I have a, a Peterson pick that I picked up recently, which I seem to have really good. Uh, it's uh, I think it's eighteen or fifteen thousand. It's really a, a nice little, nice little pick. So um, when uh, the junior lock picker becomes a little bit more advanced, then uh, this this lock has obviously security pins, uh, mostly spools, as far as I know, uh, which you know adds to a little bit of the challenge and to the fun all sets and whatnot uh, instead of just little clicks here and there which incidentally I'm going to stop talking so I can hear what's going on in this lock when I start over Binder, there you are. How do I get to you? set something but let's see if I can fix that I haven't got my false set so it's not a not a good sign usually but these uh Abus Lottos okay, I started one last time if I don't get it it's no big deal I'm able to pick these but uh 
thing I find with uh, on camera picking is it's more about the open than uh, for me than it is the actual journey to get there. So sometimes I sort of bur burn through some steps. Something I need to work on. said finally so there's hope that you won't be here until tomorrow watching me open this and find out what the last prize is Truly my last pin. Yes, false set again. Also over set one. for the boredom. I think I overset one anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, this one I'll leave for uh, your imagination, but it does uh, does work. Uh, bidding, it's not that terrible. Should uh, shouldn't really all be that hard. A bunch of high picks, pins at the back, and everything else. Pretty much, uh, this one doesn't really need to be picked. This one maybe. Anyway, so that'll be a security uh, security pin lock for. Uh, our one lucky winner and lastly a very cheap uh, cylinder of some sort that you can use to eventually uh, hopefully our luck uh, sport uh, mentorship candidate will, have, will make it to making some challenge locks so this will get him on his way to uh, having something to take apart and uh, although the uh, the Abe is also you can take it apart but uh, it's not really uh, designed to uh, to be made into a challenge locker at least uh, I haven't come across many that are try and do this in about 90 seconds or less which is what I should be because these are not very expensive and I don't think that the tolerances are that great either actually I haven't picked this one ever I don't think A little bit of movement there. How many pins are in here? set one yeah start over
think this would take that long. Must be the Sulafed. <laughs> So anyway, a little uh, cylinder uh, that, that uh, whoever can take apart and make into a challenge rock and anyway, get them on their way. Now, for the uh, rest of the, uh, for the, or rather for the mentor, obviously, uh, I don't want to leave them out either. So um, I picked up for the more skilled picker as a, uh, as a gift for, and a thank you for, um, for, for bringing a new person into Locksport. Uh, this is a, uh, the Sparrows uh, Sliver Set. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, I've never used uh, this, uh, and it's it's really really cool. Uh, these are twelve thousandths of an inch uh, picks to get into those really tight uh, some euro stuff probably, and a whole bunch of little tight spaces. So uh, this is that uh, that sparrow set. So that would be as a thank you to the uh, to the mentor for um, you know bringing someone into the sport and. Uh, to, uh, to help them along their journey. Um, so, uh, as for the, the rules, uh, the rules would be to have a, a lock sport channel, all right, uh, make a video featuring that person, uh, the, the, the mentoree, showing an interest uh, either live, you know, we are hand models after all, names and faces are not necessary, or at least, at the very least, <clears throat> a bio and backstory video with the details of where they are and how they found out about Locksport and what, where they're at. So, videos can be submitted until February 16th. Uh, use the hashtag Marty B's Mentor Giveaway. All right, so Marty B's Mentor Giveaway. Um, where was I? Use the hashtag uh, to tag the, uh, the video and also be sure to comment on this video, this one here. Um, in order to to make sure that in case that I miss uh, and I miss your video because I'm obviously not subscribed to everybody's channel uh, I've tried to be subscribed to the people that are subscribed to me hopefully uh, the winner will be a subscriber but uh, you know it's it's not really necessary it's not obligatory uh, so anyway where was I so I'll do a uh, pre-draw video on February 13th uh, to uh, to list all the names all the all the entries that I received and make sure you're on that uh, list uh, if you did submit a video. So be sure to use the hashtag Marty B's Mentor Giveaway, and be nice enough to link to my channel in your submission video as well. Uh, make any comments uh, you you feel are appropriate. Um, so that's basically it. So uh, I thank you guys very much. Good luck to all, and uh, thank you again for a very interesting year. And I look forward to everybody's content as usual. And uh, till next time.